Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. I thought I'd show you my booth here at the Schoolhouse Antiques Mall in Brewer, Maine, in case anybody is vacationing in Maine this summer or they're local and they want to check it out. What I have here is um, my card displays. There are spinning racks. This has um, probably hundreds of cards in it, from watercolor cards to stamped and painted cards. And a lot of the cards you've seen me um, have published in magazines and also demonstrate on my uh, blog and YouTube channel. So they're all right there. There. Well, some of them anyway. And um, then I have this spinning rack here that has um, pendants and hair pretties and um, stained glass and sea glass and other goodies on it and some packaged cards up here on, on the top that were too thick to fit in my other spinning rack. So they're right up there, as handy as can be. And I'm sorry I'm so late posting this video. I set up shop January 1st, 2015, and um, I was like, well, I'm gonna wait till it's perfect before I do a video, then I realized that's just not gonna happen because things grow and evolve, and I'm just gonna put it up here now so you can at least say, uh, see how it is, and uh, maybe if I decorate it all at Fabulous, then I'll do another video. There's some of the woodworking my husband does. I love this cutting board. I'm kind of hoping it doesn't sell because I kind of want it, but um, I love it because it's so thick and chunky, and um, it's a uh, 12 by 12. 12 by 2 inch cutting board and then there's uh, a couple more here that are thinner and I love that red wood I think it's called padoke and it's just gorgeous and um, so those are really fun and wine boxes that he made and these really cool um, can openers which have a magnet on them that hold the beer bottle cap or what soda bottle cap when you open up the uh, your drink so that's kind of fun um, these have always been a bestseller at craft fairs they're my five dollar earrings or three for ten um, so I have those up here just on a like a handmade bulletin board that I made so that's a great easy way to display things if you're in the um, in the market for some display ideas here I have a lot of my watercolor cards um, displayed on this board that I just took a frame it was actually a frame with broken glass so I got rid of the glass and I glued clothespins on the um, on the backing board and the reason I use clothespins is because they don't pinch too tight and they're perfect for holding my cards without without damaging them and I can display a lot in a small space. This um, box over here, my husband made from pallet wood, and I love it, and it's it's a wine box, and it's on an incline, so you, if, if you can see that wine bottle on the bottom, it holds the wine bottles at an angle to keep the cork wet, which preserves the integrity and the quality of your wine. So a little tip there, um, but I just think it's really kind of fun and rustic and would look great in like a camp. I've got some shallow square baskets that hold more cards because I have a lot of cards, but you know what? Cards surprisingly have been my best seller here. Um, I've also sold some watercolor paintings and what I do is I just matte them and I did a tutorial on how I display and matte my watercolor paintings, um, but I just matte them because if I had to go to the expense of framing them, it would make them much more expensive and a lot of times people want to change the frames when they buy a painting. So this saves for my customers, it saves on my overhead and then I don't have to worry about my frame getting shop worn so they're in this rack that my husband also built which I think I probably ought to say he does custom orders on those too because I'm sure other people would want to have those if they're uh, doing craft fairs and here's a little tip if you do sell original paintings I would put a little note just saying that they're not prints so that people know that when they're buying your work they're buying actual artwork and not just a copy of artwork so you know it's nice to have that labeled like that um, and I just have another assortment of things some wine toppers that my husband made right there and um, some covered button earrings and various paper crafts and more wine boxes and more watercolors and um, oh the hummingbird from that tutorial that is like one of my most popular ones on a YouTube I think it's got like 250,000 views or something it's crazy and other odds and ends and jewelry pieces down there on the shelves so it's like a little treasure hunt when you come into my booth or any of the other booths here at the Schoolhouse Antiques Mall in Brewer, Maine and um, if you want to check it out, I'll put an address in the video description so you can learn all about it. I'll just do a quick little pan and scan around the room so you can see all of the wonderful goodness. It's three floors of fantastic antiques and wonderful goodies. So if you're ever in Brewer, Maine, make sure you check it out. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, happy crafting.